has lifted up his head for the first time this afternoon. As you can see, the sun has come out. It's been an amazing afternoon, really. We've had a lot of rainstorms here. We've now got a beautiful sunset behind us and, uh, and some storms further out to the western side of, uh, of the Masai Mara. This lion is just busy lying on the edge of the Mara River. Ooh shaky camera work of mine today obviously the wind is a little bit stronger than what i'm anticipating and this male line you can see that he's in very good condition now how i tell if a male line is in good condition or not is not funnily enough by looking at the face but by looking at the pelvis bone so if you go from the base of this lion's tail to the first shadow that you get it's a small depression that is where his pelvis ends and that is where male lion who have been defending territories quite often show scars so for those of you who are going to be watching um, these shows and this show for long periods yet to come always look at the base of a well on at the pelvis of a male lion quite often if he's been defending territory or is, if he's had a rough life they will carry quite bad scarification in that that area at the back of on their lower back in their pelvis and the reason for that is that a male lion killing bite is a cripple to the pelvis which they get right by biting the base of the spine there or a bite onto the forehead where their canines can actually go straight through the skull and obviously kill almost instantaneously a lion fighting face to face where they got their claws in the way they got their teeth in the way very often it's just more noise and more shouting than anything else but as soon as the lion turns his face they they oh, before this goes away noel's got something very cute to show you